perfect day for football in western Pennsylvania. Glad you could join us for NEC action. And this is going to be Lorenzo up the middle. Jerome to the 15, 20, 25, 30. He is dangerous. 35, 40, 45. Cuts it back to the 50. Could he go to the 40? 35, 30. And knocked out of bounds. Lorenzo Jerome. One of the most dangerous kick returners in the nation, averaging over 26 yards per kick return, had a 73 yarder for a touchdown earlier this season, nearly took this one all the way. What I'm amazed at is if they didn't throw a flag at the conclusion of this play, he gets tackled about five yards out of bounds. His speed, Paul, is incredible. Not only does he have excellent vision here as he makes a 90 degree cut, but watch it just totally destroy what people think are the right angles to tackle him. Watch me, runs out of bounds. Look at this. He's five yards out of bounds when he gets tackled. They'll set up the return for Satcher from his own seven across the 10, 15 up the middle, 20. He's got room to the 25, out across the 30 as he cuts it to the left and has run out of bounds. Out task force security, spotlight QB for Robert Morris. First down from the 42. They open up on the ground with Malik Wells, who powers his way around the left side. Start, he is a sophomore. Last week against Liberty, 17 carries for 73 yards. Romanchik rolls to the right, fires. They're only going to get a couple out of this completion. And it will... Out as they did here to the right side. They faked the read zone option. He came out and he threw it to Vecchio. But it, what you don't see there in the, in the, in the picture is that the curl route was... And in seven from the 41. They'll stuff the box with a red flash. It won't matter. There's Wells again, tiptoeing his way inside the 40 down. That is Wells in the backfield. He will get the carry. Big hole behind the right side. He's only able to get three before the wide left. Anu is wide to the right. Off the play fake. Romantic fires, and it's intercepted by Lorenzo Jerome. He'll take it back the other way. His fifth pick of the season as he spins and twists and is finally spilled at the 22. For Jerome, his 17th career interception that leads all active players in the nation at the FCS level. Boy, they, they Lorenzo uh, Jerome just did a terrific job of baiting Romanchek there. Watch him here. He, he's got, he's jumping the shallow route and just baiting him to throw the deeper corner route, or what we call a sail route, and he just saw where he was going. He forced the action of Romanchek, and when he did it, he was able to make that pick and did it very easily. Just just terrific uh, experience as well as a combination of his athleticism. And boy, once he gets the ball in his hand, it reminds you of Rod Woodson in the old days with his... Check. Call signals. Roman check. Check that. Hands it off to Wells. And he's just got nowhere to go. Red flash all over it. Number 53, Jake, 10 after no game. Keeping it on the ground again to the Colonials, and that is Malik Wells, who apparently is going to get a lot of touches today. There's Lorenzo Jerome awaiting the kick. He's going to have a chance at this one oh boy, you from his own 32, and he muffs the football. But the red flash are able to recover. Five to ten yard separation here. That he, that he took his eyes off the uh, off the punt that was being punted and looked to see where the closest defender was. Again, the red flash was fortunate to recover that one. That was down at the red flash 42. Scoreboard says zeros across. Romantic back deep, goes long down the right side. This is gonna be knocked away and incomplete. And quite Paul, watch Jerome come from the middle of the field as they run this out and up down the right sideline. He put too much air under it and was able to cover the, about 30 yards while the ball was in the air. He, uh, he has tremendous... Uh, it's second and 10 from the red flash 42. Back to throw, the little screen goes to Malik Wells and then tracked down from behind. Receptions for a buck 36. First and 10 from the 25. They're gonna go to the end around off the reverse for Trey Edwards and look at that. Lorenzo Jerome sniffs that and meant that at the line of scrimmage. Look at the distance that he covers here to make that tackle behind the line of scrimmage. He's a terrific player. Not only does he have extraordinary speed, but again, there's an understanding of the This is the deep back. Out of the gun, here comes the blitz. Play action pass, rolling right, firing to the near sideline. That's complete for Tim Vecchio, and he is knocked. 
so far what I've noticed is whenever he's been to the weak side, away from the tight end side or the passing receiver strength, he's blitzing. He's coming. So they're taking advantage of a guy that's an exceptional horse is doing, and he is beating them to the punch. Here's Shannon's kickoff. He's going to send Jerome back to the goal line, off the line drive. Jerome slashes right, 15, 20. Look at him go. Another move to the 25. Stutter step move to the 30. And finally dragged down near the 34. The kick, unless you can kick it out of the end zone, maybe you pooch punt and kick it. Maybe you kick it short. Maybe you kick it on the line. You do whatever you can to try to keep it out of his hands. I like to call what he has juke ability. <laughs> 11.39 left in the first half, 10 to 3. On the line of scrimmage again. Romanchuk now 2 of 5 for 19 yards and an interception. So they go back to the ground, out of the gun. There's the roll. They're going to throw it. Romanchuk throws against his body, has it intercepted. Malik Duncan the other way inside the 10-yard line. On the season. First down from the 25. They will start out on the ground, and this is not a bad move at all because Malik Wells breaks it into the open field all the way down to the red flash 42. And it looks like he's coming on the blitz here. Now he's going to back off. Deep drop, throwing it to the right side, throwing it at you. He's just got to deliver the ball a little more accurately. Third and long. Here comes the pressure, and Romanchek is sacked. Inside his own 40. Watch him. Watch him to the left here. He just, I mean, that is. Malik that, Wells just lost him. That, that's, that's embarrassing. I mean, he went to the ground. He fainted on that block. You've got you to at least stick your nose in there. That wasn't a great move by Lorenzo Jerome. That was just. Romantic. Deep drop. Getting pressured by Jerome. Buys time. Penalty marker on the play. And then the red flash finish him off. That is Jerome. And form, but it is a mismatch in athleticism as he dips to the inside now. And he causes all kinds of problems for, uh, for Romanchek. Now Romanchek's got a lot. Chop block. Offense. Penalty is declined. Second down. And they'll want Morris at the red flash, 39. Play action pass. Romanchek goes long downfield. There is nobody there except the red flash players. And wouldn't you know, Lorenzo Jerome has his second interception of the day. He comes back to the 25, to the 30, to the 40, to the 45. Lorenzo Jerome leads the nation with deep. So he set it down. Watch him. So Tim Vecchio curls it up. But for some reason, Andrew Romanchek didn't read it that way and just threw it up, expecting him to continue deep, which he did not. Now that will be about as easy an interception as Lorenzo Jerome will ever have. And so again, I, I can remember the feeling when I was with the Houston Oilers and we would go against the Pittsburgh Steelers and Rod 14. Carroll looking. Hits a man over the middle at the 40 to the 45 to midfield, tripped up. And I'm looking. That we've seen St. Francis fooled. They freight the screen to both wide receivers, let the tight end leak out late across the middle, and there was not a defender to be seen. Field. He's in there now as Carroll drops back deep on third and ten. Looks far down the right side. Three red flash in the vicinity. Incomplete, and Jerome wanted his third pick of the day. Cannot fathom why the lights have not been turned on. How that would possibly hurt it. Look at how wide open the underneath receiver was. But again, in fairness to Joe Carroll now, here's a guy who hasn't played at all now.